Governor Tony Evers put National Guard troops on standby today to support law enforcement ahead of a potential verdict in that trial next week. New attend businesses in Kenosha tell Taylor Lumpkin they hope the troops won't be necessary. As the end of the Rittenhouse trial nears, business owners in Kenosha say they want things to remain peaceful no matter what the outcome may be in hopes of not having to relive what the city went through last year. Do I have my boards? Yes, I do. Do I want to put them up? No, I don't. It's a tough decision that some business owners in Kenosha may have to make to board up their stores ahead of a verdict in the trial against Kyle Rittenhouse or leave them be. I'm not sure what's going to happen. All I'm going to do is stay positive. The hesitancy ahead of the verdict comes more than a year after protests in the city turned to chaos following the shooting of Jacob Blake by a Kenosha police officer. Scott Carpenter, the owner of BNL Office Furniture, witnessed the unrest firsthand when his family owned business was burned to the ground. We just saw the whole front of the building go up uh, and watched it, you know, be destroyed in front of our eyes. Now Carpenter says all he can do is hope and pray that people keep things peaceful in the city he's lived in for more than 30 years. Protesting is okay, but rioting and creating mass destruction to your town or an outsider coming into your town to do it does not prove a single thing. It doesn't help. In preparation for the potential outcome, Governor Tony Evers announced Friday that 500 Wisconsin Army National Guard troops would be on standby to respond if their help is requested by local law enforcement. That would be great if, if that's needed. Hopefully it won't be needed. We are going to make it through this. We're going to stay strong and be strong. In Kenosha, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News. Our partners at Court TV providing live coverage of the closing arguments Monday. Find that over the air at channel 4.3.